Come on, Leon. You gotta eat the something before I can go to training. Okay. Meet Leon, one of the most talented young swimmers in the country. He's going places. If only he can decide what's for breakfast. Toast? Nah. Cereal? It's a tough decision. What Leon doesn't know is breakfast is around the corner, being delivered by a world champion. Hi, Leon. Heard you need some swimming tips. Oh, yep. And some help with your breakfast? Well, I'm your undercover coach. Eamon Sullivan has held world records in the 50 metres and 100 metre freestyle. He's won two silvers and a bronze at the Olympics, a gold at the World Championships, and he was the first winner of Celebrity MasterChef. Eamon Sullivan hangs on and wins gold! A swimming legend and a chef. Perfect timing. This is great, Eamon. Much better than a jam sandwich. You have to eat right, Leon. It's very important. All right, here you go. Wow, that looks amazing. And it's healthy too. All right, I'm here to give you some tips. Are you ready? Yep. Egg yolks ruin meringues. Not cooking tips, swimming tips. Oh, swimming. Well, for that, we better get to the pool. You can eat that on the way. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Leon, the first tip, kicking. When you're kicking, you want to make sure all the power comes from your hip. You're not bending through your knees. Stay nice and, nice and tall through your legs and drive through your hip all the way to your feet. Make sure you don't kick like an egg beater. All right, show us what you got. Very good. The second tip, your hand entry. When your hand comes into the water from its recovery, you want to be very gentle like you're handling a delicate souffle. And once you enter the water, that's when you can firm up and get your power on the water. So why don't you give that a go? Yep, that looked great. Nice and gentle. Very well done. Tip number three, your catch. When you're swimming, you want to make sure that you're not pulling your hand through the water, because that's when you don't get any power. You want your hand to get a lot of press. And you want to imagine your hand staying still and that you're pulling yourself past your hand, OK? So why don't, you, why don't you have a go at that? Wow. All right. Good swimming. Very good stamina. Well done. I think you've deserved this. An Australian cap and some Australian oh, wow. swimmers. Well done. Thank you. No worries. All right, we've built the recipe, but the proof is in the pudding. What do you say we put the whole thing in the oven and see if it rises? What? Have a race. What do you think I meant? It sounded like you were planning a dinner party. It's not a bad idea, but let's have a race first. OK. Two lengths, 50 metres. Lanes three and four are the ones to watch, Graham. Yes, Ray, in lane three, this promising youngster named Leon, he's won plenty of medals this year. Yes, yeah, so and next to him in lane four, the favourite. Next world record holder, Eamon Sullivan. And he's in the zone. He's obviously thinking strategy. So maybe if I added a squeeze of lime juice to the artichoke heart, it would add a touch of excitement. Take your marks. And they're away. But what's happened to Eamon Sullivan? He's just standing there. And for dessert, tort a la mode. Leon's off to a flyer. And then coffee or hot chocolate to finish. Perfect. Finally, Sullivan's in. Oh, but Leon has a big lead. But you can see Sullivan's accelerating. He's flying. Look at those souffle hands and driving legs. It looks like he's about to turn. Yes, yes, he's turned. But has he left it too late? Sullivan's catching. I think he's going to get him. No, Leon by a touch. Sullivan's second. Oh, what a race that was. Undercover coach, helping you be your best right here on Disney Channel.